Will Greenwald. Yep. You remember um, The Legend of Zelda? I remember Link to the Past is the best game. Okay. Um, do you remember all these other old Nintendo games? I remember Zelda, most of them. Zelda, Dr. Mario, yeah. Tennis, the game. Don't you just wish that you had a method to play those games in the year of our Lord 2018? I know you have none no, because, already. No, because no, I, too, have Nintendo <laughs> Online, and no one cares about it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're out on JordanMeyerSeniorGeek.com. We're trying to out-sandbag each other in this opening. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Yeah, so it's been about, uh, like, a month now yep. that um, the Nintendo Switch Online, uh, long-delayed, ever-changing uh, Switch Online subscription service went live. Um, I think we have the same consensus that it's necessary and really stupid. Yeah, and that it's just the, the, the same grace of it to me is that it's just such a nothing amount of money. <laughs> yeah, like it's 20 uh, bucks for a year. It's like you can't complain because if you have a PS4, you're spending 60 bucks a year. If you have an Xbox, you're spending 60 bucks a year to play online. It's like a third as much. There's some really, really stupid stuff there, like the oh, voice yeah. chat. Is that voice chat's dumb? You shouldn't have to pay for cloud saves. Cause right. That's, that's just an insurance. Also, thing cloud saves should be, uh, they should work with Pokemon in Splatoon 2. The fact that it isn't is another baffling Nintendo decision. Yeah, that's all weird. It's weird. It's just very cheap. But I think we both agree that the thing that probably has the most promise in the yes, long run. In the long run. Is this um, updating library of NES games. That you, you mean can... Nintendo Entertainment System dash Nintendo Switch Online? I mean, um, I'm not, I, I didn't make this up, but I heard some people call it Nesflix. Yeah, that's a better name for it than, if you want to go to the home screen, just look at the name of this app. Nintendo Entertainment System dash Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, so. They didn't even try. But yeah, so in theory, this is the kind of, you know, you just subscribe and you have access to all these old games. Like, just, you know, people have had this kind of dream for emulation for a while now. It's yeah. Like, no one wants to pay a la carte for, like, you know, Ice Climber, which is a bad game. But like, if it's just part of this, this library, that that has, I think is a, is, a, is a huge. That that's very appealing. I'm having a Mandela effect moment because I could have sworn it was Ice Climbers plural. No, it's Ice Climber is the character in Smash Brothers. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, uh, but it's Ice Climber the game. All right. Um, so that's in theory the the potential of this service. Um, in theory. But right now it is just limited to you twenty three twenty three games. NES games. Um, no SNES. No SNES. No N sixty four. No GameCube. Why? How? How is there no way to play GameCube games yet? Uh, they're gonna, they're, they're, cause they're gonna sell those to you all the cart, I think. Or they'll remake them. Or yeah, something. but why haven't they yet? And the Switch has been out for almost, for a month, and, for a year and a half. They don't need to yet. They're still focusing on um, Pokemon and Smash Brothers. But they won't need to because every other game is being put on the Switch. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, so yeah, that, this, this, this is where it's at right now. Yes. Um, you know, it's still not, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not bad. It's a really slick interface. Mm -hmm. um, the, emu the emulation's very good. It's better than, you know, previous. It's, it's closer to like the NES Classic kind of uh, emulation yep. quality. Definitely better than the virtual consoles of previous generations, but... Totally. Also, that there is still no virtual console is weird. Well, this is what this is. I think it, it, if, this, yeah. if this reaches its potential, it's, I think it's better than a yes. virtual console. Uh, uh, no, definitely. But it's also the Nintendo strategy of, if you remember the early days of all of the virtual consoles of... Mm -hmm. Here are three games. You're going to care about maybe one of them as we eke them out every few weeks. Right, and that's what they're doing here still. Which Literally, is, every is, month we yeah. get three new games. The new ones are NES Open, Tournament Golf, Solomon's Key, which is a weird choice, and mm -hmm. Super Dodgeball. The second Kunio Kun game in this collection of less than two dozen, next to River City Ransom. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the foundation I think is really solid. Yeah. Um, they need to just add games faster than they're doing. I'll tell you um, what's missing because there's no SNES or N64 games. Star Fox. So here's a segue of. Oh yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, yeah we got Starlink. Uh, we haven't touched it yet, but we have touched the toys, and this is the R wing that comes with the uh, starter pack. It's cool. The uh, these dumb things go into all range mode. Yep. And because how Starlink works, you take these out, so you can put on different uh, like wings, and if you pull this off. There's oh, look at him. Look at that foxy little boy. Yeah. I don't think this is canon because, again, he's wearing boots. Clearly, he doesn't have cyborg legs. See, we argued about this. Yes, I and I think we should continue to argue about this. I don't, there's, what, what suggested that he ever had cyborg legs? He just had a, like, just, some, a, some art of, like, a puppet of him. The puppets have metal legs so yes. they could stand up. Because, because it's cooler lore than just he's a fox person. It's like, no, he's a fox cyborg a fox because fox people can't handle the g-forces of space. He's a fox named fox. Is that like naming your kid guy? Yes. Okay. If you're a fox and you name your son Fox. Yeah. What I like is, like, isn't his father's name Scott? Yeah. It's, no, it's James. James, <laughs> right. <Scott. laughs> oh, no. He's the comic book dude. Right? God, Scar <laughs> Star Fox characters have the best names. Fox what, McCloud. What, what, if Scott, what if Scott McCloud flew in R-Wing instead of made books about <laughs> comics? Wow. Um, yeah, so that's cool. We can't show off the game for that yet. Nope. Um, 
So, yeah, so we're going to just play some of these uh, NES uh, online games, um, including what they put out this week. They did... Um, so again, kind of what could be cool about the service that they made a kind of special, almost like ROM hack version of NES Zelda. It's a very cool idea. Like it does, yeah. and it wasn't a surprise. Like we knew these three games were coming because they said that this is what's coming. But yeah. The Zelda SP special is fascinating because it's like, hey, here's a Zelda that lets you cheat. Yeah, and if you just you know, you just why do we go into it? And, see and what you said the service, you just got it. Um, so if any questions, leave them. We'll get to them. But yeah. Although I think they should call it Zelda Scrub Port. Uh, I mean, you could stand for that if you want. Yeah. There's nothing stopping So you just started, right? Yeah. So uh, you got six hearts already, twice as many. You have the white sword, you have the blue candle, you have the white uh, tunic. I don't, so I don't, even need to, I don't even need to talk to this old Dude man. Dude isn't even, even there. Yeah, I've already... I know it's dangerous. He left because he's so disappointed in your cheating. Yeah. I've never... I've played maybe half an hour of any of Zelda, like, co like collectively. It's, it is very much a game of its time in that, like, without any directions of what to do, you need to pour time into it of just like, I got graph paper, I'm gonna go, this is here, this is here, this is what I gotta do, and just sort of pick apart what is necessary in the game. Graph paper? No, like to, to is that like some sort of like offline Excel sheet? Yes. Okay. I, I genuinely didn't even know if you were doing a bit with that or if it was just... a bit, yeah. Or if you're just that young, because that's also the case. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never actually did any shit like that when I was a kid. Um, Let me tell you about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I played D&D as a kid, and I was like, I hate this. And you didn't use graph paper? I know, because I didn't like it at all. Okay, I stopped playing fine. it. Um, but I think... So if you want to talk about Jordan's terrible taste in non-geek stuff... It's too much elves and shit, man. It, and also, I was just like, we're all just making up these numbers we're writing down. Like, it's supposed to stop me from just writing whatever number. Well, the, the DM does. But I don't know. It just, feels, it just felt so... And also, it is kind of an honor system because it isn't competitive. You're everyone like working together, having fun adventures with imagination. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I can see why you hate it. No, but yeah, it's the imagination, but combined with all the numbers and stuff to me. It was like, I, it's like, I didn't like that mix. It was like, just give me one or the other. That's why I like games, because like, the, the yeah. rules are enforced. Um, but and in any case. It's also why Link to the Past is so much better than this ever was. It is, yeah. Although I will say, though, what I think has kind of renewed a lot of interest in this game, yep. uh, at least for me, is that Breath of the Wild, yes. philosophically, uh, takes a lot from it in terms of its openness and its, yep. its, its brutality. It does, but also there was a, there's much better sense of progression in Breath of the Wild where you don't need to go like, where do I need to go for this thing? Right. It's more just the more you do, the more you can do. Yeah, it's a which contemporary. Is way it's a contemporary video game. Yeah, I just noticed too. I have like ten keys, which I yeah. probably didn't wouldn't have had if I was just starting this off. No, nope. so. but let's keep going. Like this is yeah. basically cheating edition. Yeah, and this is still a super solid game. And considering like what it was at the time, it's revolutionary. But yeah. it's also like obsoleted by. Is that the right word? Rendered obsolete. Let's I'm going to say obsoleted. Okay, uh, obsoleted. But <laughs> by link to the past. And, and I'm going to say Link Between Worlds is better than Link to the Past. I would say that Link's Awakening is better than both <coughs> of them. I will not say that, but I can understand the perspective, even if it's wrong. I like Link to the Past. Link, 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 oh, no, it's great. It's, really it's a fantastic game, yeah. but it's not as good as Link to the Past. Because um, it's on the Game Boy, and the Game Boy was not a great system. I like, I like it. It was absolutely vital. But I like it wasn't the intimacy good. of it, though. It's, mm. I like that it's kind of more compact. Um, yeah, yes, and it, it does tell more of an interesting story. Like Majora's Mask is more interesting than uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, because I just, I, I just find a lot of Zelda games just exhausting sometimes. That's why yeah. I like the Divine Beast in Breath of the Wild, because yeah. they're shorter. Zelda dungeons, to me, yeah. there's a point where they just kind of just grate on me sometimes. I can uh, see that, especially like if you played uh, Twilight Princess recently, like some of the, or Skyrim Sword, uh, Skyward Sword, not Skyrim Sword. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just very long dungeons that are just exhausting. Yeah. Or Okami HD. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like. I That's mean, a game that is three times longer than it should be. It does. Be. That game has like four different like false endings. Yeah. Uh, question. How long is this game? <clears throat> this isn't ultimately that long. I feel. If you know what you're doing, you can yeah. bang it out in like 40 minutes max. <laughs> yeah. Um, but even like if you're playing it how a normal person would play, it's still maybe like a few hours. But like yeah. it's it's like this came out even like kind of before strategy guides like. You just you need to feel it out and learn from doing. So you just keep banging your head against it, knowing where all the p things are, because you're only going to get a few hints. They're going to be poorly translated and only a handful of characters. Yeah. And you just need to sort of explore, and that's kind of the joy of it at the time. Yeah. And it was like it was just kind of a, it was one of the games where like having a battery backup was like a novel thing. Oh yeah. Even too. So push the tile. There's pushing in this game. Ooh. 
mechanically way more than you would expect from this. Yeah. I like that they didn't bother to change the text of any of this. It's like, no, screw it. Yeah. Who cares? It's special. I will say, though, yeah, I will say having all this stuff is making me, um, the, <laughs> all the initial friction I have with this game is, yeah. is definitely not as No, weird. cheating's fun. Everyone it should do it. It is. Who cares? Like, <laughs> like who cares? <laughs> it's a video game. You're not doing wrong. I just still want to, <laughs> I want to have that be your open, like, uh, I, I, think, I think difficulty in video games is, in general, vastly overrated. Mm. I haven't checked. Is this the uh, is this the version of Zelda with the swastika or the one where they changed the fourth one? Um, I'm going to say they changed it. Okay. I don't know, though. I mean, since they changed other stuff, right. I, would, I would think they would go with the most recent version of it. And yes, fellow weebs, it is a manji and it is a Buddhist symbol, but it's also like, this is a swastika. We need to change this for the U.S. release. Yeah. Um, question. Why do you think cheat codes are kind of, I don't know, obsolete now? Oh, because they Microtransactions. Yeah, because they, yeah. Yeah, they totally Because you can buy now. Yeah, they just sell it They to want now. you to give them money to cheat. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. It's complete bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Like, th I've been playing a lot of uh, The World Ends With You on the Switch. It's mm -hmm. still a fantastic game. It is. I still like it a lot. Yeah. Um, people got... But, what, what do you think of controls? The controls are fine. Yeah. It's like I was never really a fan of this touchscreen stuff to begin with, but like I don't need to do back and forth between the two screens, so it is okay. better than the DS. Uh, that's apparently a bit of a hot take, but I agree with you. Yeah. But um, like you can just say, okay, I want to play easy mode, and it'll be a little bit easier. You can change the level you fight at to have better drop rates, and all of those things you get Ooh. just by having the game yeah. without like needing to buy the harder mode or buy a uh, experience boost. It's just, no. This is, these are the sliders I'm going to tweak so I can play it the way I want. And that's great. Because if you're not adding content to a game, you shouldn't charge more money for it. Well, like when you're adding content to a game. Don't get me started on content. Um, it's how we live and die. Did you play Celeste on Switch? Uh, no, I heard it's good. But the, like I saw the getting chased by like your evil twin ghost thing. is like this. this is, I love this platforming. I don't like stressful platforming where you need to avoid the Shadow was, Mario. That game has a ton of different difficulty settings, though. You can like mm. make it slower. You can give yourself like, infinite stamina. Mm. Like, you can, there's a lot you can speak with that. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, a lot of indie developers aren't scumbags. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of them are, though. So. Yeah, well. Um... Cool. So yeah, I did. So that's the first dungeon in any of Zelda I've ever beaten. It hey. turns out. You know what I'd love to see a Zelda Two Special Edition where just his sword is twice as long. That'd be really nice. Because that's one of those things where if you change a small thing in the game, it would be so much better. Is that the one with I am Air? Yes. Cool. They should keep that. They should add a lot more of that. I genuinely don't know which is the case because on one hand it might have been I am and it like referenced something, but I don't think so because using five characters for error for like an error message in an NES game is insane. So I think it might actually be like a Dr. Wright, Dr. Light translation thing where it should have been I am Errol. Ooh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's the actual explanation for I am <laughs> Errol. So it just kind of worked out that it was also a word. Yes. Huh. It's like um like Dr. Wright and Dr. Light. Because <laughs> in Mega Man, yeah, yeah, yeah because you're the correct you're correct. Yeah. Shit. Um, it's, or it's <laughs> like, um, who's um, in Mortal Kombat? Uh, Ermac. Oh, yeah, Ermac. Bro. Yeah. Uh, question. Are all of these games in a coherent timeline, or is that just like a Reddit thing? Uh, it's just, I mean, they say... It, it, it is official according to Zelt 2 Hyrule Historia, but it's very clear that they were just making shit up until the timeline theory came out first, and then they said, hey, we're putting out an art book with this stuff. Why do we make the fans kind of happy and give them stuff to talk about? And also to make Skyward Sword seem more kind of, um, yep. you know, important by making it the beginning of the timeline. And then for the next game to be completely, like, pointless because it's yeah. at least 10,000 years yeah. after any of the timelines. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? So... You had, a, you had a post on the site about, yeah. the, about where it fit in before it came out. Yeah, I had a lot of theories. Yeah. I, none of them were proven or disproven because it's basically like... There was enough time between whatever timeline it was in for Hyrule to grow again, and then they built for Mecha, mm -hmm. and then Ganon came back as demon ghost creature pig. I mean, and well, I mean, big more move. than usual. Yeah, I mean, big move. Mm. So it, like, they they had the timeline, and it was capped off with Skyward Sword as the beginning, and then they just was okay. The next game, make it completely pointless. Yeah, who cares? Doesn't matter. Boy. This is really expensive. <laughs> uh, I want to see what other items I already have, though. Because mm -hmm. I already have... I've got these bombs. You should probably get a shield. I have a shield. 
give a good shield? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think. Assume so. Uh, it was block. Look, look down. Is that? Yeah, it's actually the same yeah. shield. So I guess if you get it stolen from a like, like you can get it from this dude. That's true. And I do have, you know, two fifty-five yeah. rupees. This guy I, who's I assume I wouldn't have had. This guy who's open about how much he's soaking you. Can you push one of these, or is there a fire thing? It looks like it. Th there's this in uh, Hyrule Warriors, which is still go uh, on. One of my favorite games. Like I've played through it three times on three different systems. Go it's on. Fantastic. But the adventure mode has maps that are different parts of like the Zelda screen. Yeah. And what you could do is you could use a compass to make whatever you're supposed to interact with appear as like a little sparkle. And that, if that was a function in this game, would make this so much more playable. True. Of just like, hey, you press a button, you spend like a currency, like you need to light that thing on fire, you need to use a bomb here. And it, it wouldn't give it totally away, but it would help. Yeah, that would be, I would think that would need a little bit more, um, actually. With this, they just tweaked some variables. They just they just tweaked it. They just yeah. said, like, this is basically a Game Genie code. Yeah. Um, that would be cool, though. It'd be even cooler if they put, like, Game Genie on this. <laughs> of just, like, enter the Game Genie code, like, have the big floating, like, letters of, like... Uh, did you ever see the original Game Genie in action? No, I had a, an action replay, though, oh. growing, growing up. Is that like a, the, the scrub version of it or something? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Okay. I know that Action Replay, I think, has uh, lasted longer. Like, it's kind of, or is that Game Shark? Like, one of them is still alive. Oh, maybe. Game Shark had, like, an editorial <laughs> outlet for a little while I, like, applied for. Do we want to look at another game or keep... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that... I still see what's in here. Yeah. Because, again, I, I, I'm excited, kind of. I'm actually kind of excited to be able to get into this game yeah. for once. And you can always use a save state. Yeah. So. Which is nice. Cheating's fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll just. I'm kind of disappointed that the Mega Man X Legacy Collection doesn't have like the the rewind and uh, like fast forward stuff of the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Where they oh, have, for like, the, the newer stuff. Yeah, yeah, when they like rebuilt the first six games, like their new engine of just like, hey, this is an easy way to do eight bit Mega Man games. Yeah. So yeah, like uh, in previous virtual consoles, you great save states. Four save slots, just like on the NES Classic. Very good. Uh, question. So uh, those save slots aren't shared across. Like you have four for each game. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's try Solomon's Key, which is a weird choice. What's he standing on? Weston thinks that it's tofu. Uh, whatever material video game blocks are. Okay. Uh, so the souls of dead toads. Yes. Okay. That's what it is in Mario. I know. Yeah. So. Yeah, what is this game? I don't know what this I game is. I've, I've heard of it. I mean, I've heard the name, but I don't know what it is. It's like, I need, I. You just cut, you have to cut a baby in half? You know, might as well be. You have to move around and just make blocks and build blocks, so. You can make blocks appear, huh? And it's like a puzzle game. Is it Minecraft? Yes, this is proto Minecraft. Also, my name's Dana. Okay. Is it the same? Dana? Also, I can pause the victory screen for some reason. <laughs> is it the same Dana from Ease Eight, the Lacrimosa of Dana? No, it's the same Dana from Ghostbusters One. Okay. That's a. I, I can't believe that was a real name for a video game. I know it's weird, right? Oh, but can't do a. Uh... Oh, oh. Huh. All right. Can you, like, box them in? Yeah. So now these guys are screwed, but then they sort of... Huh, this it, is kind of neat. It's neat. I never... I, uh... It's also a game that is kind of completely impossible. Okay. But it's a really... That's a, that's a clever thing that they were trying to do. That, that to me, too, is the value of, you know, these you playing, being able to play a bunch of these old games. You, you, you don't want to buy them. Yep. It's like, just to see this history, you know? Like, if you're, like, you're going to play, like, two minutes of this... I just don't know what it is. Um, I got the bell. I don't know what that does. That was, that, that's what was so cool about Rare Replay. Was like, yeah. never, I'm not going to spend any real time with like Saber Wolf, but I any like these, that I know any of these specky games. Yeah, but like I like I like that I have just some idea of what it is. I don't like that you can never get rid of the press minus for select button. Thanks, I couldn't tell. Yeah, you also can't remap controls, which is annoying. Yeah, like this is. It feels like a Nintendo, like the, the usual Nintendo mistakes. Mm. Or not even mistakes, the usual Nintendo bizarre choices because they're Nintendo. Yeah, I think that yeah, things they oversights, things they just don't don't think about. And hey, spooky ghost. Yeah, it's Halloween time. Is it? It's October. That's a Halloween time to me. I only celebrate pumpkin spice latte day. Are you okay. That's 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 scarier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Capitalism was the real monster. Yeah. I just Ooh. Yeah, this game's hard. 
I think that's really clever. I I know what it was. No, nah, it's a cool game. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I think that's a, that's, a, that's a cool thing that the service can do. It's just deliver games you never would have you know would have yeah. thought about ever. Which is why putting so many of these let's face it basic bitch black box games mm -hmm. like hey tennis and soccer. Here are some redundancies you could have done. Yeah, but like just they should have just done all of them. Like, are there any of those left? Uh, yeah, I think there was like, yeah, there's definitely some. I yeah, think. so they should just do all of them. Like, just get yeah. it out of the way. Uh, question. So was that game the deepest cut really on here? So far, yeah, that's the deepest cut. Okay. Specialty is back brain kick. <laughs> People like this game. Yeah. Is this now this at all related to like Fire Pro and all that? Is this part of that legacy? I don't think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure Fire Pro Wrestling is uh, human entertainment. I don't. I've never actually played this either, and those that, are some Wrestle Boys. Yeah. Those are some genuine Wrestle Boys. You know, it'd be great if, like, if they do SNES games, they do Saturday Night Slam Masters. No, that is, is that a wrestling the, game? It is the Capcom wrestling game. So it basically, okay. Street Fighter, if it was pro wrestling. Does it play like Street Fighter? Or? Kind of, yeah, okay. a little bit. See, I never thought, like, how wrestling, should wrestling games play like fighting games, or should they be, like, weird? Like, imagine like, Street Fighter if everyone was Zangief and Hagar. Yeah, but, yeah, but, like, because wrestling isn't, it's all choreographed. So, like, should it be more yeah. about, like, executing a script, or should it be, like, a fighting game? Uh... It should be a fighting game, but there are some cool concepts of like you know doing script things and sort of like role playing. Yeah, or like the is... fact that like you have to like be in sync with the other. What person. a pity! <laughs> <laughs> or like the fact that you have to be kind of like in sync with the other person. Yeah. So they should make a glow video game. Just realize there's no punch out here. That's weird. Nope. Yeah, we'll try there's something. There's no punch out. There's no Castlevania. There's no Final Fantasy. No Mega Man. Nope. But they do <clears> have <throat> Super Mario Brothers Three. Yeah. No mm -hmm. Mario Two. Nope. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, they just, it's weird. It's very Nintendo. It's very bizarre. This is one of the best games that, again, I think was made kind of obsolete by Super Mario World, but that is probably a very big take. That's a very big take that I also agree with, <laughs> but it's also a big take. And I know that, like, Mario 3 is uh, our own Bob Chipman's religion. Yeah, you're written a book, a book on yeah, it. You're a book on it, yeah. And I'm going to say, you know, come at me, Bob. <laughs> Super Mario World's better. Uh, <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Oh, he can come at me, but for not. This is still a fantastic not, not game. Like, this is still fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is no it, question. This, this isn't any, like, just NES games that hold up at all is yeah. kind of a, an achievement, I think. Oh, sorry. You know what I love to see in here? Metal Storm. Oh, well, that yeah. is this uh, kind of a Mega Man-ish game, a, a lot harder. It might have been Koei or Technos or some Data East, one of those games. Okay. But basically, you were kind of a mech, and it was a side-scrolling platformer, but there was a gravity thing. So you could like jump to the ceiling and jump to the floor. Huh. And you need to actually like maneuver around things that way instead of just jumping. Do you ever play V V V V V V? I have. It's kind of like that actually. Okay. Or how about Kabuki Quantum Fighter, where you're a Kabuki warrior, with a he where you attack by whipping your head back and forth inside a computer. Are you a Sergeant Kabuki? No. Oh. That's Sergeant Kabuki man. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that you would know. Yeah. God, I have an I have a copy <laughs> autographed by <laughs> by, uh, by Lloyd by Kaufman. Kaufman. Yeah. Gonna leave that there for now. Uh, what was I gonna say next? Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, you Shatterhand. Would... They should do Shatterhand. Shatterhand. There's so many weird like B to D level kind of like platforming games made by like Data East, Tecmos, uh, you know, all those guys. Where it's like this was cool, but it also that very specific like Batman NES aesthetic. Of okay. Black background, okay. like grungy, weird '80s cyberpunk cool. robot designs and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. The Ninja Gaiden look. Yeah, and Ninja, I mean, they're adding Ninja Gaiden to this. Uh, in December. December, yeah. And then Metroid is next month, or maybe December also. Yeah. Also, speaking of games made, of, made completely obsolete by their sequel, yeah. Metroid is the top of that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've never played Zero Mission, though, which people seem to like. Zero Mission's good, but it's still, like, it's it's no super, and I'd say even even Fusion, for all of its flaws, is a bit more coherent, okay. like, as so an makes, experience. Yeah, I buy that, yeah. I love All Stars, Super Mario All Stars. Like it's the the sixteen bit versions of these games. I think are just way better. Yeah, that's the one that I played yeah. growing up. You know, that's my first experience with all that Mario stuff. Uh, question: Have most of the initial games for this so far been just published by Nintendo? Is that the no, no, good? Those those are pretty good mix. Um, so it's been menu. Oh, uh, you're right. Yep. 
Yeah, uh, Tecmo Bowl, some Tecmo, obviously, Versity Ransom, that's not Nintendo, yep. Gradius. Technos, uh, Capcom, uh, Konami. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, they, oh, most are first party, like, but clearly they have, uh, they got more stuff in mind, too. Yeah. Uh, you like that? Yeah, sure. How about... So, yeah, they have to go out and make those deals, but, you know, they're willing to do that, for sure. Again, the fact, all that stuff that was on the NES Classic. Yeah. <laughs> that was third party, so... Oh, we got. I, m I missed the opening. Ghosts Ooh. and goblins. Where Satan steals your girl. Okay, so it's ghosts and goblins, and then it's super ghouls and ghosts. Yes, but I'm going to reset this because I think we need to just recognize something. I never noticed until now of the beginning of this. Uh, this opening. You're there having a picnic with your girl. You're naked. Yeah. Yeah, man. You're in a graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. It was the 80s. Yeah. So I'm thinking Arthur, Arthur is super pissed right now. Like, more than he would be otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's the hopping between ghouls and goblins and ghosts that yeah. always confuse And me. super ghouls and ghosts. So yeah. I, and there's the, uh, the arcade one, too, which is... Like, this is... They should make one that's called ghouls and ghosts and goblins. Like, just bring them all together. They should make one that's just called ghosts and ghosts. <laughs> ghosts and ghosts. I like stupid video game names. I like stupid a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you had that, that post about like the, the, about game names from Japan. Gundam. Uh, oh yeah, there are uh, some really good g names that are way better in Japanese. Yeah. Like hot-blooded uh, delinquent Kunio instead of Renegade, yeah. which is you know sort of River City Ransom. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Oh. And they become a little eight-bit skeleton. A little skull boy. A little skull face. They should put NES Metal Gear on here. <sighs> no. No. Oh, uh, what? Because they should put MSX Metal Yes, they game. should. Okay. That's where we were going. Did they ever come out They should America? put Snake's Revenge here, though. <laughs> That'd be great. Did they ever um, did they ever come out in America, Virtual no. Console, MSX Metal Game? Not Virtual Console. Okay. I, I don't think any MXX game was on Met, was on Virtual Console. But Not in America. Yeah. In Japan, they did. But they did in the, uh, in the MGS2 or MGS3 Substance or Subsistence? Yeah, because they changed all the art. Or, yeah. Um, they should put uh, Ghost Babylon here. Hmm. That actually would be rad. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of really underrated, good Game Boy games. They just, they're just, like, literally just, like, hundreds of games. They could just, like, flip a switch. And yeah. Just, like, just put them all on here. Like, what are you doing? Like, in, instead of 12 bucks, instead of uh, 20 bucks a year, they could charge legit 8 bucks a month if they had, like, yeah. just 10% of the NES and SNES library. Yeah. And again, maybe they just aren't confident enough to feel they could, make they could like, just technically build that server. Like, maybe they're just... <sighs> I, I, yeah. I don't think Nintendo's problem is a lack of confidence, but there is definitely a weird, like, there's weird thinking of, I guess they think that they can soak people in the very long term with, yeah, but they haven't put out a, I don't, I, don't, I cannot explain Nintendo's decisions. I think, I mean, yeah, I, I can't say for sure, but here's just going to be speculating. I think that they, I think, A, them charging $20 a month for this is them being self-aware about it's A ultimate. year, but yeah. Um, it's, yeah, you're right. 20 bucks uh, a month would be bad. I think the $20 a year price is them being self-aware about what the actual value of this is. But how can they... But it's also puzzling that they can be self-aware about it at all and still do the voice chat thing where you need to use your phone. You're right, it is. But I think that is at least... I think that's a, I think that's a clue to the, them being somewhat self-aware. I think that they had... I think that they knew that they could not come out of the gate having never built a service like this before. Yeah. But and then try they, something they that big. And they tried it that big in the beginning and it was completely broken. Yeah, but they it also was, kind of like did build a service sort of like it just with virtual console. Like yeah, it was but not, it was a la carte, but it was still like the infrastructure was there. Right, but the, in terms of this kind of like persistent library thing. I think yeah. they're still trying to I think they're still trying to figure that out, which is why I think there was so much change leading up to this. Um so that, that, would, that would be uh, yep. my, my guess. Uh, this is Gradius. It's still a real good game. Question. Has there been any other modded games released for this yet? And no, just that Zelda one. Yeah, okay. That was a total surprise. Are there surprise, any you'd yeah. like to see? Um, that's a good question. Um, mm. I'll play... Um, Final Fantasy 1 has a lot of oh, weird yeah. difficulty spikes, right? And also, like, if they change it to use MPs instead of the D&D &D style, like, you have only so many casts of each level per day, yeah. which makes it really hard to have a magic party. Uh, so that'd be a good one. I would play a modded version of Punch Out with Mike Tyson in it. Oh yeah, um, or Donkey Kong. <laughs> Did you put Donkey Kong in <laughs> NES Punch Out? That'd be great. That'd be really good. Yeah, you'd play something. Um, 
I don't know, because I don't really care about a lot of NES games. Though. That's what I do. That's why I hand you the controller. No, I'm talking about, for, <laughs> I'm talking about things I would like, like to see modded. You know what? Super Mario Brothers 2. Like uh, actual okay. Mario 2. Just oh, give lost levels. English, just give it an English menu. Okay. Man, Mario had his like hand in all sorts of shit. He was Whoops. like he was refs for like fifteen different sports. He was a doctor, allegedly. Man, okay. I was yeah, like, I played times. It kind of looks like your opponent is Laura Croft. Sorry, Lara Croft. Oh yeah, the color scheme. A little bit, yeah. Okay. We were talking uh, off camera about how many of these games just have names like tennis and yeah. ice hockey. The whole black box era was just like, like they were. They were picking up the pieces of Atari. Yeah. Of just like, here's the least inspired stuff ever. This is really fucking with me. Wow, you actually suck more than I suck at actual tennis. Well, because this is just weird, man. So and am I tennis. playing actual tennis. The timing is so weird. Like, the, where the, I can't tell where the ball is. Like yeah. The height. Yeah. But it's still kind of like... The 8-bit, we're going to try to give you sort of a 3D perspective, is almost admirable. Is this mode 6? What was what you're saying? I, mm, sure. Although I'm sure that there are a lot of retro gaming hardware nerds that will point out that like mode 6 is one of the like sprite processing things, which is why it's mode 7. Oh, yeah, there's, like, there's yeah. like a real answer. It uh, wasn't a lie like blast processing. Yeah. Man, Come okay. at me, Sega nerds. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Dreamcast was great, but most of the games still suck on it. Uh, Shenmue uh, Eats. Are you excited about Sega Ages? That's that's starting to come out on Switch now too. Kind of yeah, a little oh, yeah. bit, but uh, but like the Neo Geo stuff, which like, like this is the ideal Neo Geo console at yeah. this point because every major Neo Geo game and so many deep cuts are on there now. And that's why I feel a little bit better too about this being not, yeah. uh, you know, them dropping the ball a little bit, and that they've at least opened it up for third parties to kind of do whatever they want with yeah. their own uh, retro stuff. Because yeah, we were saying. You know, you can't play Mega Man on this, even though you do an NES Classic. But, like, if you want to play old Mega Man games on Twitch... Like, you, you got really, options. Yeah, you can really do that. So, It's real good. Um, but too bad they're not bringing out um, Castlevania Requiem on Switch. Yeah, it's so weird that that's a PS4 exclusive. Yeah, because like, Sony, is, Sony is helping to fund that game, apparently. Yeah, because I don't think Konami would actually make video games otherwise. Yeah. It's so uh, already, bizarre. I've already messed up here. But. Yeah, you can still do it. There's a path. Yeah, it's going to take longer than I would have liked. Uh, question. Do any of the other Mario games make reference to the fact that Mario practiced as his doctor for a period of time? Uh, I mean, Smash Brothers, Dr. Mario is a character. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it, though. I, I would love one of the, like Mario RPGs or like a Paper Mario game to just like ha have you visit his old practice. I would just like for one of those to be good. Yeah, well... Okay, well. They're all, you know, oh, Mario, what's he known for? Really kind of cool and nimble, fast platforming and jumping and shit? How about we put him in a slow-ass JRPG? I know, that's why I want out of Mario is turn-based battles. Mario RPG and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door are fantastic games. Yo, give me games. Super Paper Mario. At least he's jumping Super Paper Mario is great, too. You know what I want in a Mario game? It's just reams and reams of text. I do. <laughs> And you do too if it would give you lore. Yeah, you really are you one of those people who want Gino in Smash Brothers? Yes! For some god So much! For some godforsaken reason. You want this dumb puppet? You've been standing for Waluigi, so shut up Waluigi. about Gino. Waluigi is in video games. No, he is <laughs> like kind of. Yeah. Gino's still rad. He's a he's a puppet alien god, with I an cannot arm get, gun. I can't get past more than like Eight hours of any Mario RPG before I'm just bored to tears. Good yeah, lord. But that's you for most RPGs, good period. Good lord. I know. But Mario is good. So are RPGs for different reasons. Question. I was going to say the best part of Mario RPG is that you can rack up a giant hotel bill and then you have to work it off. So there's like a whole <laughs> scene with you yeah. like washing dishes. Let me tell that, that's in Super Paper Mario, isn't it? I think it's in the original. Oh. Let me tell you though. Might be in a couple. What about in Mario Sunshine, where the whole game is about you working off Mario's fucking community service, mm. <laughs> and then also you get to jump. What about Super Mario Galaxy, where the universe ends and is reborn because you fucked up so hard? That game has great lore and it's fun to play. So <laughs> don't tell me that it's not. It's either or. Uh, do you do you believe the theory that Peach and Mario are Rosalina's uh, parents, and that Peach is dead? 
I've not, I've not heard this theory, but that's very good. It's extremely good. That's why Miyamoto took out the plot in two, because he's like, oh, shit, they're onto us. Let me tell you about the uh, YouTube channel Game Theories, which is just full of insane bullshit like that. Oh, well, no, no, yeah, no, no, you, you, you had me and you lost me. YouTube, yeah, good. YouTube channel. I don't want to have you. <laughs> uh, I like Dr. Mario a lot, though. Oh, no, it's great. No. It's weird that Tetris isn't also on here, because that was like, yeah. it was the game that made the Game Boy. And the NES version was great. I just wonder if it's just weird rights shit with that version of the game or not. Maybe. Is I it mean, an NES classic? No. Yeah, that is also weird. Yeah. Is it? I don't think I forget. so. Yeah. No, but we got, we got Puyo, Puyo, uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. But Yoshi's on here. That's on here, too. Yeah. Um, Tetris, Tetris, Tetris Effect coming out soon, too. That's, that's that going to be good. It's great. Yeah. We both tried it, and we, you know. Yeah. Would you say it's worth getting a PSVR for? I'd say it's worth getting the PSVR for and a real good weed guy. Oh, yeah. It is an experience. Yes, one of the few games I would call experiential, which is a horrible word, but I guess it applies to something. Tetris is just such a good game. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a reason it's still, there's a reason it's still good. Uh, I've been thinking about taking up Dr. Mario in Smash Ultimate because he has a lot of Ganondorf stuff that I like. Yeah, I know you love his down B. Yeah. Um, I'm really looking for uh, Ganon's. No, I like a side B. Oh, okay. Because um, it's, yeah, it's, it's that kind of command grab thing. I really think I love the idea of Smash more than I like actually playing Smash because I just suck at it. That's fair. Yeah, I'm very into just Smash as a fighting game. Like, I like fighting yeah. games that play like Smash even though they don't have Nintendo characters in them. I'm, I'm uh, very into Smash as a fighting game, but I'm more into the... I'm more into mocking Melee fans and how it completely insane they are. Yeah. Because that, that's basically the closest thing you get to a gaming religion of just like... like gaming being a, for me is like a religion, Will. Being, and, being and a fundamentalist is the shit. <laughs> being a fundamentalist melee player is yeah. a thing on the internet. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, think, I think they're coming around on Ultimate, though. Maybe, or, but... I think because mm. they're very, they're very <laughs> much... Nintendo, with their, all their, they're very much trying to court those people. Like, oh, yeah. Like, more than ever, they're trying to get those people. But I don't know if they'll be able to, because, again, some fans are completely insane and need these specific janky things, or they will hate the game. Yeah, but, you know, but Smash 4 has... I know, I'm a Monster Hunter player. Yeah, but there's also there's a very vibrant uh, competitive community around Smash 4 also. Yeah, so that's if, true. So if they build on that, and I think they're building on that, I think they'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I would say they are a better stock of people than Melee fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, Comment in the thread. Uh, yeah. Why hasn't Sony announced a new, uh, new All-Stars? Because who would they put in it? <laughs> who there? Who it would be kill, It would be uh, Horizon Lady. That's something. Spider-Man? Um, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, could, of, they could put Raiden in it again. Yeah, one of those minority robots from Detroit. Um, yeah. Honestly, know. if they put in someone from Nier Automata, I might get it. <laughs> they could put Knack in. Put Knack no, in? They could put oh, Knack yeah. in. Yeah, Knack 2, baby. Um... No, probably because uh, I don't think Seth Killian... I think they dissolved that studio, maybe. Yeah. And also, it's like Seth Killian was working on that game. I don't think he's... A, no, because he's over at Riot. Yep. Working on that weird uh, Rising Thunder like kind of uh, successor. Yep. Rising Thunder was good if you played like the uh, you played, like the prototype. Mm -hmm. It was so fascinating. And it's like yeah. having a fighting game where you don't need to worry about execution is really cool. Let me tell you about Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, it's the same thing, but even more so. Yeah. Or uh, I'm playing a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters on Switch also. That's a real good game. That has that, that the execution uh, in that is very uh, accessible. It's easy to, unless you're playing against something who is specifically very good, it's very easy to feel like you're being good at the game. Yeah, it's great. It's just like, hey, I'm a badass now. Yeah, I'm, I, have, I you have a team of three Gokus. That's not enough, you can get more. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, um, I've been doing... Base Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan God Goku. Base God Goku? Base, based God Goku. Uh, no, Goku without, just with his black yeah. hair. Um, are you uh, looking forward to Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan? He's in it in the Switch. In the Switch are you uh, no, are you looking forward to the oh, Dragon the, Ball Super Broly the film? movie? Oh, God, no. Um, I was saying, that, that's the one thing I, I kind of resent about Dragon Ball Fighters is that it's part of this uh, <laughs> larger... Know? larger movement of people talking about Dragon Ball Z for, again for whatever time. And dumb. Super. Yeah, like... No. So you don't like the lore that the most powerful Super Saiyan, the legendary Super Saiyan, is in fact so angry because he was next to Goku's crib and they were, and he, like, had to listen to him cry when he was a baby? I just don't like seeing you people empowered. 
I know you're wanting me to ask that. I'm not going to. I'm not giving in. No. Okay. I'm, we're playing de <laughs> Dragon Double Dragon. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> uh, I have questions. Will, it's a manji. Yeah, weebs, I know. Guilty. Um. Oh, that's weird. It oh. always throws me off when you need to use the select button for anything. I know, that's another thing too about just old games, is like just they're oh. weird, like oh. what counts as what. Like also, hello, most problematic opening since, okay, let's face it, your girlfriend gets captured in Ghost and the Goblin, so second most problematic opening in the stream. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, question. What were the different modes you were selecting between? So I saw it was one player and two player. What were the other I things? think the other ones are if, uh, I actually don't know, I think one might be whether there's friendly fire, like if you can actually hurt the other guy. Hmm. That's the thing I never want in any video game ever. Yeah. Friendly Fire. Yeah, no. It's awful. I never want that. It makes some games like Battletoads just impossible. And I think uh, Final Fight Super Nintendo has only Friendly Fire, or I might be wrong about that. Or maybe it's Arcade that only has Friendly Fire, but yeah. it's bad. Oh, speaking of other uh, retro Switch stuff, there's uh, the Capcom beat em up bundle on Switch now, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Have you tried it much? Yeah, a little bit. Have you um, played much Captain Commando? No, I was just playing um, uh, Final Fight, just because I love, I love all those guys. Hagar, he's so good. These women are called Lindas. And the uh, most basic, weak-ass enemies are named after me. They're called Williams. <laughs> Williams. Yeah. There's lore. Nice. There's names going on. I don't know this guy's name. I only remember Linda, William, and a Bobo. Uh, it's real cool that the dirt on his pants is the same color as his skin. Yeah. Or it's supposed to be ripped jeans. I don't know. Maybe he shit his pants. Mm. But on the front somehow. <laughs> Maybe they shit each other's pants. <laughs> it's like, yo, we have to match. No one needs to ask these questions. Yeah, but these are the questions I want that no to. one asks. The questions I need. Yeah. How do you feel about the Double Dragon movie? Um, it's got, um... Alyssa, uh, no, um, um... It's got Mark DeCascos. Yeah? Um, famous Iron Chef America host. Speaking of a thing with lore... Yeah. Um... Yeah, and that's all I got for that. And it also has the T-1000. Oh, oh yeah, it's, uh, Robert Patrick. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, Agent Doggett. And, um... Ah, it wasn't Alyssa... Was it Alyssa Milano? Or, no, not Alyssa Milano, um... I forget her name, but... It, Someone played Marion, and she didn't die in it, so. Hmm. This is not a good game. Like, the arcade one probably is better, but this is just dumb. I mean, I think the, the, the larger take is that beat-em-ups in general are, like, an acquired taste. They are point. an acquired taste, though I will also say that a lot are just bad. Yeah, I mean, that's my, that was my way of saying that. <laughs> but, let's go with this. Yeah. Now, this is not just a beat-em-up, though. This is, like, a full-on, like... It's a beat-em-up RPG. Yeah. I really like this game a lot. Uh, the question. generic dude's turf. Are these the two best beat em ups that they could have picked? For the, on the, the NES? NES? No, because they could have put Final Fight, uh, Mighty Final Fight in. That would have been great. Mm. That would have been a deep cut. That's an impossible game to find because it's so expensive. Yeah. So, no. They could have been, could have been better. Yeah. <laughs> this could have also been worse. They could Barf. have put Battletoads on it. They could. That's a bad game, too. But Battletoads and Double Dragon is better than both. Although, I mean, they probably couldn't because it's rare. Eh. I don't think they're probably... They, they, they well, no, it doesn't matter if it's rare because, like, it's in ROM. They don't need to worry about scarcity. Is that a joke? Yes. Okay. Allegedly. It was a joke in theory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does this feel so much better to play than Double Dragon? <laughs> oh, God, they're making a new Battletoads. I forgot. Oh, yeah, they confirmed that, didn't yeah, they? They did. After they were, they've been threatening it for years. I wrote an article saying, every time they didn't announce it at E3, I would update yeah. my article saying, like, thank God they're not making a new Battletoads. Like, I think that there's so many people at GameStop now who are just like, okay, they, now they actually can pre-order Battletoads. Fuck, this, this, the phone calls will never end. Yeah. Question. Someone wanted to know if there's a Konami game that you could try the Konami code on. Uh, are there any Konami games? It might be on Gradius, okay. but I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, it's just the ROM. Also, yeah, Contra isn't on here. I just don't yeah. remember if, uh, if it... Down left, right, left, right, A, B... Okay, I did the wrong one. Uh, also, there are like four variations of the Konami code, so. Let's try again. Hey, Pete, do you want to go to GameFAQs and let me know if there's a way to do this? Or maybe IGN? 
Oh, no, you think they'd have that information? Well, yeah, they have the wikis and all that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It'd be really a shame if they didn't. <laughs> I think that might also be the only Konami game on here. So Yeah, there's not. no Castlevania, there's no Metal Gear, there's no Contra, there's no Bomberman. That's a great Mario outfit, though. That's the <laughs> Smash Brothers. And now that's your new wallpaper. Uh, you can't do wallpapers on Switch. You can't do themes. Or no, I mean you can take it off your Switch and put it on your computer. Oh, no. My computer, it's, it's all my wallpapers are for my own uh, creative projects. Also, this is a reason why I can't uh, ever like play golf, because every time I see Stroke play, I giggle. <laughs> also, who's this asshole? <laughs> oh, it's, um, you know. That's another thing, too. People get up in arms about these Mario sports games not being RPGs. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't need to level up in tennis. You know, Mario yeah. Tennis on GBA, it's all like you're in like a tennis academy and you're just playing some generic assholes that's like, oh, Mario's going to teach you how to serve. Like, that's going to be Mario. Wow, I outright whiffed it. Let me try again. Yeah, so there's anytime any video game controversy is like, oh, this wasn't enough of an RPG, I'm like, good. It is kind of weird that um, there are no instructions for any of these games. Like, there you just get like a blurb. You can't, what's the subscribe sub sub menu? Uh, one second, let me try one more time okay. with it. Uh, can you do suspend menu? There's nothing? Nope. Oh, wait. User guide. Oh. Okay, go back on. Oh, hey. User guide. Oh, yeah. That's helpful. That's... That's real helpful. I kind of like this diagram, though. I like this kind of weird sort of, like, wireframe. Yeah. I do like that when you play online, you can, like, have applause and just, like, it's it's supposed to be friendly, but it's just the purest way to troll your friends when you're playing. Yeah. Uh, question. Apparently, the trick with Gradius was you had to do the Konami code on the pause screen. Oh, let's do that, then. Thank you, Pete, or whoever commented. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. You look like a more powerful boy. I'm powerful. Oh, I yeah, got, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. This game's fun now. Yeah. Like, I'm not good at shmups, but I love just, like, the idea of getting all these cool things just you bolt on your ship and have more bullets and missiles and lasers. Oh, so you're going to be, so, like, in Starlink. Yes. <laughs> like, literally. Um, or have you ever played this game on the Wii, uh, Blastworks? No. Oh, it was a shmup. Is there anything like uh, Blast Blocks or... Boom blocks. Boom blocks. Yeah. No. Uh, it was a shmup. Um, it had a really good level editor for a Wii game and like a, like a way to share levels. But um, but the way it worked is that you would any time you would kill an enemy, their corpse would stick to you, <laughs> and it would start. It would shoot bullets out of itself. So you would just be this like. Also, if you got hit, it would like fall off. But it's like this kind of like Katamari Damacy, but as a shmup thing. That that's it's really rad. Cool. It's really cool. That's rad. Uh, I think it was like based on like a PC kind of freeware game huh. that might be able to. It's called Tamiki Fighters. Tanuki Fighters? No. Does uh, it have huge balls? Uh, you can you can make it like that because you could like make your own ships too. So I made um I made a DDD ship from Kirby. Yeah, let's see if I got there's anything on that game. You a fan of King DDD? He's really good. He's real. I love his. He's a big hedonist. I love that in the anime he sounds like George Bush. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great pick. I just have. I wanted to make an actual like 3D Kirby game. Because I think a, a three. Yeah, they haven't. They yet, haven't. Which is so weird. So I think a three D boss fighting a CD could be very good because he's such a round boy. Like what about Kirby Odyssey? Yeah, like I think it's, like Nintendo is the only company left that. Because be Mario Odyssey is just Mario as a Kirby game. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're the only company that has the talent to make like a real three D platformer anymore. I think. Yeah. Um, and they should do it with the other games besides Mario. But um. This part's so stupid. Why am I stopping here just to fight the volcanoes? They're assholes. Yeah. Do you like shmups besides, you know, the yeah. one you mentioned? I like that. I like Ikaruga a whole lot. Ikaruga? Well, no, um, one, dis no one dislikes Ikaruga. Would you count, like, Space Harrier as a shmup? Or, like, Sin no, and Punishment? Uh, nah. I no, but I would say Sin and Punishment's good. Space Harrier, not so much. Okay. I, I like his jacket in Space Harrier. Um, I like uh, that Nano Stray game on the DS. Oh, yeah, like, I remember that. Years ago. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm doing any damage to this thing. And I died. Good work, Will. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm looking at this uh, Blastworks game. Uh, question, too. 
Right there, I mean, is there like a good reason why this genre's kind of died off a bit? Shmups? Uh, it's another thing where it's like I feel like it just became other kinds of games. Yeah. I mean, when you make a 3D shmup, it, you, don't, you, don't, you don't recognize it as a shmup anymore. You want to play Yoshi? Sure. It's also like shmups were, were very much a arcade game of here's how we soak as like gamers for a lot of money. Yeah. Of just like keep feeding quarters, it's going to be really hard. And then they sort of became more boutique games and like Dojin uh, uh, shmups became like huge. So like there's a big fan community, which still does a lot of them. And it's just like, I guess there isn't much of a commercial market so much for it anymore against the other genres that just became big. Yeah. All right, so what am I trying to do here? I'm You're trying to make eggs. So eventually, like, that top egg isn't going to help, but if you get a bottom egg, you, you put one down, then you sandwich a bunch of, like, pieces in it and put a top egg on it, and then you get a little baby Yoshi. You're spouting out pure nonsense. Yes. Oh, okay, so I'm trying to clear these out so that I can do eggs. Yes. Okay. But if you put, like, a, a, a lower egg half, that's an upper egg half, it's just going to disappear. Okay. A lower one, you put it down, then put these parts in there to make it, like, go big. Oh, so I'm trying to make, like, egg sandwiches? In. Yes. Oh. Huh. It makes, it makes the Yoshi reproduction like concept even more baffling. Oh, than you it mean T Yoshi Sor Manchakupas, or whatever his Christian name is? <sighs> no. You saw that though, right? Yeah. From the people that brought you Mario is twenty four. <laughs> 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 Yoshi's real name. There are so many levels of what the hell is wrong with the internet. I think you can just like speed down by pressing down. Okay. Might be Tetris rule. There you go. And if you have like pairs of creatures to like clear them out to make more room, so this is very, it's it's an oddly slow. I haven't gotten block any dropping. lower ends yeah. though. The randomness is a bit too random. I kind of wish they had Yoshi's cookie instead. That's a way say, better. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I was gonna say is that game. that's different from this. Way different. Yeah, yeah. it's like t it's tile matching, and it's like a sliding putt tile. So you put things like five, like rows of five, and then you get cookies, and it has cookies. It's good. Yeah. Now this game has booze in it, but yeah. booze were not until Mar. Were were booze in? It was. They were in three. They were in three. Yeah. Okay. Yoshi wasn't though. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. This, right. So, yeah. So this was a late period NES game. Though. Yep. Okay. This might have been back when it was Yossi. Ooh, I mean, I, I mean, I've been calling him Yasser for mm. uh, for years because I think it's funny. Yoshi Arif. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right, I'm gonna not make this. Oh, I have a bottom egg though. Yep. Though you can't like put anything on it except one top egg piece, so you're just gonna get like a little like fetus Yoshi. Okay. Also, what uh, what weird okay. scenario is this where like where Mario is doing this flipping of these like piles of enemies and Yoshi eggs? He wears a lot of hats. Uh, question. So this was the first time that they had introduced Yoshi in anything. Huh. Well, no, Mario he was in the Mario World. So yeah, but Mario must, World might have come out after. Right. It, it must, that must have been an NES game that came out after uh, Mario World. Um, it's not clear. Because you know Nintendo loves to put out games for their old systems even when they've been thoroughly replaced. Oh yeah. That was a comment about the 3DS, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> there, every I kind they, of like Excite Bike still. It's cool. I'm surprised they like, they tried to make Excite Truck on the Wii, didn't they? Or yeah. Something? Yeah. And it's, there was Excite Bike 64, which was also yeah, very good. Yeah. True. Yeah. Like they could and do Excite some stuff. Bots on the Wii. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Like I'm a, kind of a yeah, I suppose kind of Labo vehicle and like the Labo motorcycle thing that's sort of Excite Bike like, but mm -hmm. it's like I'm surprised they haven't tried. It's like, hey, here's more Excite stuff. I just wonder if that name really means anything to anyone. <laughs> yeah, good you know. Point. Yeah, there isn't an excite, but there isn't an excite bike. Yeah, excite, excite bike, in like Smash. No, but there was that excite bike course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's true. And it was a cool course. Not as cool as the F Zero course. No, but so bo both equally forgotten. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, more people are uh, like Captain Fal Captain Falcon is that Smash Brothers fighter, right? Like, yeah. no one's going to remember he was a professional racer you know, in a though, great he, series. He's, he's, yeah, but you know what? He's more interesting in Smash Brothers. <laughs> he's more interesting in F-Zero in F -Zero Advance and in the anime that had lore. That's true. When uh, he, I mean, he has a Falcon Punch at the end of the anime. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't he sacrifice his life heroically, too? Yeah. Yeah. That happens in a lot of animes. That's another character people want in Smash Brothers is any other F-Zero character. I'm like, yeah. no, thank you. Samurai Goro, maybe? Who cares? 
How about James McLeod? Who cares? <laughs> you got a question. Was he Excite Bike guy ever in Smash? Uh, Excite Bike was like an assist trophy, I yeah. believe. But not uh, like a character. Yeah, because he's not really a guy. Well, you don't know. It could be Mario under it. It could be Luigi. It could be. It could be. Like Mario was refing, Luigi was doing like motocross. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Um, you wanna wrap it up? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's um let's go back to the main menu here. Um that's Nintendo Entertainment System Dash Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, that's uh, that's what this month's update. Um, so at least for now, we're doing all, this kind of monthly uh, cycle. Um, you know, if you have a Switch, if you want to play online, this is what you have to do. But it's you know, like an extra thing, so it's nice. Yeah, it's again, it's it, it, it's it, twenty bucks a year, and you need it to play stuff like Splatoon or Mario Kart or anything online. Yeah, I mean, would you give it on Mag like a like uh, five out of ten? Uh, two point five, I think. Okay, like three, like it's. Necessary, it isn't good. Yeah, I'm just completely just neutral on it. It could be way better. I'm not angry about it, but I'm not like awesome. I'm not like, oh, awesome. I'm just yeah. like, yeah, whatever, sure. Um, but after that is, we'll be back next week. It, we'll probably. You know what this is more like PS Plus is like, all right, I, we're going to find us, like, we're going to get some cool ass games or like uh, Xbox Live Gold, like those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. There's that feeling. With this, it's kind of like you're paying your Nintendo tax and then you're just totally. like getting yeah. some NES games and like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're getting extra pens at the bank. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, we'll be back next week, probably with Starlink. We can yeah. probably talk about it. So, um, uh, so yeah, we'll see you then.